Hello and welcome, all of my beautiful, vibrant hearts and ephemeral souls, to today's Pick a Card reading, which is going to be, what does your spiritual practice need at this time? Um, there are going to be three groups to choose from, as usual, as depicted in the thumbnail. Uh, so if you want to skip through some just kind of like cursory messages I want to share, feel free. The timestamps are down below. I will just show you really quickly what these signifiers were for each of the groups. Like I said, it is in the thumbnail, but in case you want a closer look. So group one is denoted by this holy stone, also called a hagstone, if I remember correctly. Um, group two, signified by the plum blossom tourmaline. And group three signified by the hemimorphite. Um, so like I said, if you want to just skip straight to the messages, the timestamps for the corresponding groups are below. Now, <clears throat> really quick kind of like um, things I want to go over before we jump in here. Um, there is a heavy level of entanglement between all three groups. <laughs> so if you're drawn to more than one group, that is probably why. Um, you might find that this reading resonates with you um, at different points, like you might watch it for one group today and then, you know, six months from now be drawn to a different group. This is why there's a heavy level like set of entanglement. Some of you might find, especially if you are heavily intertwined with somebody else's energy, that <clears throat> um, you pick a group that more resonates with their current experience. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to like touch on that really quickly. And there is also from the shuffling, because I actually uh, lately have been shuffling more on camera, but this one I was called to pull the Oracle cards prior. Um, I haven't seen them yet, so I get to discover them with you, but just in the shuffling process, what came out for overarching themes, bottom of the deck energy, stuff like that. Um, this is, if you were drawn to this reading, no matter what group you end up picking, uh, you have a heavy level of um, clairsentience, of emotional intelligence. You might uh, consider yourself an empath or empathic. Um, and there is a need here for some, there's a need to really work on strengthening and protecting your boundaries. I know I talk about that all the time because I mean it all the time, um, but it really is so important. And that just came out. Um, you might be particularly susceptible to, and I don't love using this term, but just for lack of a better one, emotional vampires. And so there's a, there's a discussion that is being broached between you and your spirit guides about protecting your energy a little bit more. Uh, I want to say the word succinctly. So some of you, you might be, um, some of you might need to, if you have an energy protection routine, it's almost kind of like, um, it might be something that you don't do frequently enough, or it takes you a really long time. It might take you a really long time to heal and recover from being bombarded by other people's energy. So there's a better, there's a better way to do that. There's a better way to, um, do your energy cleansing and maintenance routine. I'm trying to see if I get anything else before it's time to, to jump in. For others, there is a need to, um, you're, you know, you're, maybe you're like working on protecting your boundaries better and there's a question of what do, you know, what do I really want out of life? What do I want to create? Um, what is it that's my true heart's desire? So that's the journey that you're on right now and that did also make itself known in the shuffling process. I want to pull a couple of tarot cards really quickly to kind of close out the sort of general messages before we dive into the different groups. That's too many. Okay. Wow. The two that flip themselves over. The Ten of Wands upright and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. A lot of you, a lot of you are really having to kind of stare down the enemy is what I'm getting. Stare into the eyes of the snake that wants to bite you. Um... <clears throat> in order to let go of very deeply held patterns. These are generational patterns with a Ten of Pentacles. These are things that are foundational to you, but things that are ultimately self-destructive. So if you feel like you're going through some heavy cycles, this is likely why. Some of you, this has been, I'm here like, this has been my whole life. <clears throat> um, this has been a lifelong journey. Just know that you are breaking down some very like cemented in energy. That may also be why you would benefit from energetic protection and cleansing on a regular basis is that um, you're you're always processing heavier energy. And so being able to like make your way through that. Um, again, there's something here about the frequency with which you, you know, protect your energy. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like this energy that, uh, you know, an affirmation or um, a, like it's like uh, like 10 minutes of meditation a day is better than, you know, striving for an hour and then doing it, you know, once a week or something like that. Like 
make sure you can incorporate this into your daily routine more, whatever that might look like for you. <clears throat> yep, we have the hermit at the bottom. Um, and the, the word here is uh, oracle. So there's a need here to, again, some of you need to meditate. <laughs> you need to meditate, baby. <laughs> um, that's okay, we all forget. Um, but there's a call here to make sure you are meditating, make sure you are centered and grounded within yourself and centered with spirit. So with that, let's get into our groups uh, again. Group one, denoted by this holy stone. I gotta fix my nail, sorry, I was partway through, but I cannot get these three off to save my life. Fighting for my life over here. Uh, group two is denoted by the plum blossom tourmaline. And group three is denoted by the hemimorphite. So um, pause the video if need be. Meditate, contemplate on the options in front of you when you have found one that best resonates with your energy. Head down to the timestamps in the description box below. My hair is not cooperating, that's fine. Um, and I will see you there, okay? All right, and with that, I'm going to start with group one. Okay, hi, group one. So yours was the group that had a kind of a particular message while I was shuffling about asking yourself what you desire, asking yourself what it is that you want to create, whatever it is you feel called to. There's like a heavy sacral regeneration energy here. Whatever it is you feel called to, whatever it is you feel like would bring you joy, would bring you peace is a word I'm getting, um, would bring you happiness. <clears throat> you are protected in pursuing that and some of you need to know that. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, some of you, your your energetic boundaries and your sh like shield, so to speak, are actually pretty strong, but they've taken a hit recently. Don't be afraid to rest a little bit um, while that kind of regenerates. If you get a gut instinct about somebody watching you, you're right. Um, yeah, be, be unafraid to take time alone. Somebody, there's somebody I feel like in your circle who's saying one thing, uh, but they're looking somewhere else, right? They might be saying like, you know, I'm on your side, but they're kind of like looking at something else. They're looking, um... Maybe like looking out for themselves, looking to something that they said that they weren't interested in. There's a lack of alignment here. So it's like they haven't stepped outside their integrity yet, but they're thinking about it. So just be really, really cautious um, with who you give your time, energy, and especially ideas to. So with that, let's see what you got. What does your spiritual practice need at this time? Energy healing. Not surprised. Um... Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So you guys may also be gifted energy healers. Some of you would benefit heavily from energy healing. So this could be uh, Reiki, sound healing, um, you know, supported and guided meditation. Um, there's lots of different forms of energy healing. I will say I do offer distance Reiki sessions. So if you are interested in that, um, the link to book a session with me is uh, you can book through my shop and that's linked below. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, but energy healing, whatever form or fashion that you like to pursue that in would be beneficial to you. Even spending time in nature. Some of you, you like to be near bodies of water that's regenerating for you. <laughs> Excuse me, especially if this is highly specific, especially if your Neptune is in a water sign. Um, I don't know why that's what I'm getting, but that's what I'm getting. Um, pursuing some energy healing at this time would be very beneficial to your spiritual path. Okay, we have steady progress. Uh, we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Oh, I love that synchronicity interesting uh 87 reduces to oh i can do math a 15 which reduces to a six there we go brain fart and we have the lamp with remembrance okay i'm just sitting with these for a quick sec so there there are a couple different messages i want to relay um you just like look at the, the little pumpkins expression here um this feels like you have a light, right? Almost kind of like the Ace of Wands. You have, um, you shine your light brightly. Um, you have an idea, you have inspiration. We also have the same imagery here because whenever I see candles, it makes me think of the wand suit. So you have something good on your hands. There is a sense here where that attracts somebody in. Somebody's got their eye on you. 
Um, I'm also being drawn to whoever this person is to you. Remember, remember who you are. No, remember who they are. Um, there's a sense where I'm not saying that they're, you know, they have ill intent, but like there's a call to look at them, like take a step back and look at them from a holistic standpoint, right? Like their flaws are still their flaws, um, potentially, or like even if they're working on it, doesn't mean they're in the clear totally yet. So like just, just, it feels like there's a call here <clears throat> to go in the direction you're led because it feels like you're led towards something important here. Um, but to make this person kind of earn trust over time, right? Let the progress you have with this person be steady. Um, I want to just pull a couple of cards about that situation real quick, and then we'll get into the, the actual bulk of your message. Okay, uh, <laughs> we have the Nine of Swords reversed and then the King of Wands coming out. Okay, um, Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom. There we go. There it is. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be somebody who used to be very critical of you. We also have um, Mars and Gemini being referenced, so Gemini placements, Mars and Gemini specifically. Um, this could be somebody who was very critical of you in the past or somebody who stressed you the hell out with the Nine of Swords. Um, somebody who, because I all of a sudden I have this one spot um, that just got really, really itchy, so that can indicate itchy crown, can kind of indicate a lot of, like, spiritual downloads. This is somebody who you've gotten a lot of synchronicities about. This is somebody that you're very spiritually connected to. This person has grown a lot, but there's still something. I gotta, I'm sorry, I'm getting spiritually nosy. There's a but here, and I need to know what it is. Uh, the star in reverse, they're not done healing. The world in reverse, yeah, exactly. They're not, they haven't fully wrapped up the cycle. So they are growing, they are improving. Uh, they are still very attracted to, like I said, your light, your energy. Uh, they might be attracted to you if you are a healer. So like what you're feeling, the spiritual pull, that makes sense, right? Because like as a healer and someone who needs healing, there's going to be an attraction there. There's going to be a pull there because that's like part of your spiritual path. Um, but the there's a call to remember boundaries in doing so. Um, you know, the, the star reversed, they're not done healing. The seven of swords reversed with pessimism. That's good. The high priestess reversed. We have Pisces um, and Aquarius now showing up. And then justice in reverse with uh, Libra energy. So this person, it feels like they're going to come back in. If they have wronged you, especially with any secrets or lies, deception, they are going to be talking about that, I feel. They are going to be wanting to take, um, take responsibility. I almost said take control. Uh, it feels like they're trying to get these bad habits under control. Um, this could even be somebody who says one thing and does another with that criticism energy. So like maybe you're always concerned about them judging you or criticizing you. There's an energy here where I do feel like they're going to try to make up for this. But there's a caution to, again, this person has wronged you with the justice reversed. This person has likely kept secrets. So even though there's a spiritual, very strong spiritual bond here, this person has likely kept secrets. Um, this person has likely deceived you. This person um, has sabotaged this situation in the past. And so while I think it's on their radar and while I do think they're going to want to apologize, there is a sense here where, especially with remembrance, there's a familiarity here. There is a sense to, you know, there is steady progress forward, but not to go rushing into believing everything they say just yet, right? This has this energy <laughs> they might be the king of, you know, I meant it when I said it. It's like, yeah, I believe you, but, you know, will you mean it tomorrow? Um, and so there, that's just like a little side note <clears throat> about this person. So um, what your spiritual practice needs, obviously, we touched on energy healing. There is a need to be patient with your growth process. We have a dove represented here. Uh, we have the candle and then we have the flowers, right? So there's peace, there is inspiration, um, and then there is growth. Um, you are steadily, you know, it feels like these come in waves for you. So there's a wave of like coming to peace about something, getting renewed energy, right? renewed inspiration and growing. And it's kind of like that's your expansion process in, like I said, in waves. Um, you will be getting more synchronicities. It feels like you are in a healing period because I talk about this a lot, but, um, you know, your emotions and your intuition are intimately intertwined. So when you are going through a big emotional healing period, that takes up a lot of your energy. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and it's not uncommon for your spiritual gifts to take a backseat or to not work as well while you're going through a healing and um, like purging process. So a lot of you guys, you're finishing up a healing cycle. Again, you've come to peace and there is this new cycle with that kind of imagery of the, the candle, the Ace of Wands reference. There is a new cycle of renewed inspiration, synchronicity. You're going to be getting the aha moment, the clarity. Um, so what your spiritual path needs at this time is to continue to invest in energy healing in whatever form or fashion you like to do that in um and to allow space for this inspiration to come in allow space for the synchronicity to come in uh, if you guys have been feeling ungrounded kind of confused like you can't read the signs again that might be because you're in a healing period there's a need to work on grounding a little bit um and i think that there's also a need to, you know, really drawn in with steady progress to everything. I'm going to read the card again. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering. I suppose we have remembering and remembrance. In remembering love in your daily activities, we can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. What your spiritual path needs is this understanding about, again, these waves that you're going to go in and to kind of go with that flow, right? To let the, even the synchronicity themselves, because again, there's a, there's a high level of spiritual um spiritual like giftedness in all three groups so there's kind of like this need um to understand that even your connection with spirit even your gifts even your spirituality is going to happen in waves and that's okay um there is a need here to keep making steady progress it feels like a lot of you guys are trying to unwrap layers of how to be like how to use your gifts how to um kind of you know use your light in your particular way in the world and how to do so in a way that is um both helpful to others and honoring and respectful to self right a lot of you guys have been working on self-love you've been learning some really significant lessons about how to love and protect and support your own energy so what your spiritual path needs is understanding of this sort of you know ebb and flow process as well as um steady commitment to continuing the the journey because you know it's not always going to be perfect right you're going to make mistakes you're gonna be like ah shit i shouldn't have done that <laughs> um like oh shoot like i didn't <laughs> that's not what i've been learning and that's okay right um and again i feel some of you <clears throat> might get frustrated when you feel like your intuition's not working and like there's kind of a need to understand that it's okay spiritually like it's okay to take breaks that's necessary right you're not like less of a light worker because of that that's okay um and just to remember, <clears throat> to remember that you're on a journey, <clears throat> excuse me, a forward momentum and progress toward, especially again, right now, it feels like greater self-love. Um, and again, I feel like that's, that's also specifically in reference to like this person coming around who either wants to reconcile, they want to be a part of your project, they feel the energy moving forward. Again, you guys are very spiritually connected. Yeah, because I'm getting this tingling all of like all up on my crown right, right here. Um they feel that you're moving forward. They feel that things are progressing in your life. Um, you and this person could even have a spiritual mission together, but there's a sense here of, I don't want to say like, you know, a zebra can't change its stripes kind of a thing, but there's a sense here of like, that takes time, right? Yes, they might be supposed to be in your life, but don't hand them the keys to the castle unless they've earned it. Um, your energy and your time are far too precious. So there's a sense of what your, your spiritual journey needs at this time is healing understanding um you know again that that openness to go with the flow and a remembrance of what the overall purpose is of the cycles that you have been wrapping up and the journey that you've been on so that way as you get ready to step forward you can kind of draw appropriate boundaries they're showing me the queen of swords so draw appropriate boundaries about what is helpful to your journey and what is an active hindrance so that's everything I'm getting for group one. I hope that has been helpful. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> um, yeah, and if you are looking for personal guidance, the link to book with me is down below. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you next time. Take care. Hi, group two. So you guys chose the plum blossom tourmaline. I immediately want to take a big sigh of relief. I want to be like... Ah, um, pink flowers, especially, um, like, uh, like cherry blossoms might be really significant for you. Um, it feels like there are, there's more relief, uh, getting the word alleviated, so alleviation up ahead.
you may have felt like you were under a lot of pressure or almost being tested for lack of a better term and that period of time has passed. I have a burp that stuck. Excuse me, <laughs> I was gonna say so sorry when it appears, but it appeared, we did it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm getting for you guys. So let's see what you have. Oh, you have environmentalist, okay. Uh, you're an earth angel who is born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So we'll get into it in a sec. Cleanse and detoxify. Ooh. <clears throat> um, with great love and respect, we ask you to, de to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as uh, ease any sorrows at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body spiritual partnership oh goodness okay 27 reduces to a nine yeah in spider with um community and web weaving <coughs> um i feel like these these two go together <laughs> um for sure but we'll talk more about it okay so this is actually pretty straightforward so you know group one for example had an element of needing to kind of cleanse and heal themselves but that felt very much like uh like more like their energy body this feels like this could be your energy body but also your physical body for you guys so with environmentalists spending time what you need on your spiritual journey um spending time in nature connecting more with nature grounding <clears throat> excuse me that's that's a bfd here that's really going to go a long way um again it feels like you've been under pressure i don't know why i'm getting virgo energy really hardcore it feels like you've been in a cycle of being under pressure and so taking um some time to let your body your physical body rest is going to be paramount um spending time in nature to help yourself ground is very very helpful uh spending time with animals um <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> also very helpful if you've been called to explore more environmentalist causes do so um there's a sense here some of you need to uh declutter your home some of you would benefit from a communal living arrangement i almost said operation um a communal living arrangement even if you don't think that that would be fun for you it would actually you would actually benefit from it right so whether that's having a roommate living with family <clears throat> oh my gosh i'm sorry my allergies um you know living in a like a specific community um even for a short period of time you would benefit from this for some of you um either you know moving more toward a, like a like a more populated area so there's more people around for others it would be the opposite right moving to a more rural area there's also just an element of community here we'll touch on that in a minute um but that is first thing off the bat something that your your spiritual path like would help you on your spiritual path at this time um with cleanse and detox this is the big heavy well there are two two big heavy hitters this is one in your reading some of you need to let go of a physical habit this could be a vice that you have <clears throat> this could be something where you just don't like the relationship you've developed with it for some this could be a habit like um like you know overspending or compulsive shopping that's where that like decluttering message comes in some of you need to just like rearrange your space entirely the energy <laughs> i'm getting the energy is crusty um so it's really time to like by like cleansing and rearranging your space, you detoxify the energy of your space, right? Your environment, very, very, very important. Some of you are developing sensitivities to things or you have recently developed sensitivities to things. You are about to develop sensitivities to things. Be prepared and honor those things, right? Honor what feels good. Honor what doesn't like make your body feel good, your energy feel good. Um, so some of you might find like, oh, you know, I love drinking coffee, but it like wrecks my stomach honor that right there is this element where it says you know um at your request which i think is we'll, we'll go back and talk about it in a second at your request will help you develop life affirming ways to deal with your stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways so there is something that needs to be <clears throat> released here and it feels like you could be at war within yourself like i want to let this go but i'm struggling and some of you straight up don't want to let this go um, and you're being asked to do something different. And this is where your guides are coming in to say, look, we understand it's hard, but this is actually for your highest good. This is going to only benefit you. So even if you're struggling with it or you just feel like this was out of your control, outside your power, <coughs> excuse me, um, there is a need to be willing to let things go. I want to clarify cleanse and detox. Yeah, we have judgment. This is a really big turning point. It's really important. 
Ow. My sinuses are all of a sudden hurting so bad. Okay, hang on. So bad on my left side. So the sinuses are connected with the third eye chakra, and the left side of the body is the divine feminine energy principle. So it's our receptive side. So having like sinus pressure, pain out of nowhere on the left side, you guys have gotten intuitive messages that it's time to go. <laughs> make things two things abundantly clear don't cross me and it's time to go um, but no you've gotten you've gotten clear messages that it's time to go and I'm like getting into real talk mode but it, it's important um it's time to go it's time to leave something behind some of you just look at that imagery some of you are about to get pregnant your partner is about to get pregnant this is preparing you um <clears throat> for like this is preparing your body to be able to handle pregnancy or that might be something your partner is going through um whatever changes you've been making financially changes in the home some of you want to get a new car um this might be preparing to expand your family now this is something like i said with judgment you know it's time even if you don't know what it is right like let's say this hasn't happened yet this like detox kind of energy you know something's got to go you know something isn't serving you anymore um and it's time to do something about it it's time because the active lit up areas are the hands, the heart space, and then the third eye, right? So psychically, you know this. Emotionally, you know this. The hands, I've seen the hands uh, be connected with the throat chakra, but in general, hands always just make me think of what we can actually do, what we can make, right? So there's a sense of empowerment. Like, you know, it's time to take action to create a better situation for yourself a better experience um you know the the judgment card is a turning point energy so a lot of you guys already know that something is changing and for some of you you know one of the big changes you're going to have somebody come in to either facilitate this change or help support you in it so for example let's say if some of you um wanted to give up drinking or give up junk food you might have somebody who comes in who is you know also on that journey or has been on that journey and supports you as you go through that <clears throat> excuse me um for some of you if you are about to experience pregnancy or your partner is about to experience pregnancy the child that's going to be born that's that's a soulmate for you that's a spiritual partner for some it's both you're about to meet your like spiritual like counterpart right you're because for me whenever i see purple and orange those are my soulmate colors that's why i got this <laughs> those are my soulmate colors um and some of you are about to like meet or come into greater alignment with a soulmate and you may or may not conceive a child as well. <clears throat> um, there's there's a, a big life shift that's taking place for you. I'll put more tarot in a moment. A big life shift. Uh, the number 27 is very, very important somehow. A big life shift that is taking place for you. And it's going to also involve other people who are meant to walk a similar path, right? Who are meant to be part of your community who are meant to create the same things as you. A lot of you guys have been asking to be more in alignment um, when it comes to the people you spend time with or like the places you spend time, right? Your direct environment and those that populate it. Some of you guys might have a little bit of funky energy with your third house in your natal chart. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I want to know more about this with judgment, spiritual partnership. What do we have here? Wow, the two of cups in reverse. Okay, with love. The eight, the eight of swords with confusion. The ace of pentacles of manifestation. Stop. And the four of cups with desire. Okay. Um, three of pentacles reverse to the bottom with works. So you guys have had spiritual partnerships in the past. Not work out. For a lot of you guys, this has been love. It doesn't have to be, but many of you guys. Uh, this could have been unrequited it you know wasn't reciprocated even if it, the emotions were there because this can usually talk about mutual feelings even if the emotions were there it like nobody acted on it and it left you feeling super confused right um about the purpose about you know what was going on about what it all meant some of you started doubting your intuition really heavily some of you what you're cleansing and detoxing is this energy you're leaving it behind you're letting it go and this is because you have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Four of Cups. We have desire. This is usually about emotional apathy. You know, you're not participating emotionally. And there's a sense here where it feels like a lot of you guys are kind of taking your, you know, whenever I see imagery of pearls, it always makes me think of the lessons we've learned, right? It's our pearls of wisdom, but the lessons that we learned through repeated exposure to challenge. So a lot of you guys are kind of sitting here, you know, 
reflecting over what's been lost and trying to find the wisdom of the experience. And you've been in that place for a long time. You know, the Four of Cups usually shows the cup being offered and the guy's like not even paying attention. This feels a little bit more, <clears throat> excuse me, like you've been in a meditative, contemplative place. I mean, you haven't been entertaining visitors. Um, so this could be literally, you haven't been like really spending time with people, but emotionally, you just haven't really been super open because you've been trying to understand what's happened in the past. This is what this is with the, you know, the judgment card is that you're about to have this new beginning that you've been deeply desiring. Um, and so you are shedding and purging and detoxing the old energy that you've been dealing with and all of the habits that, and I almost said, and hobbies. Okay, habits, hobbies, pastimes, where you've put your time and energy that were associated with this previous cycle, that's all gone. That's all going. Um, and that's what you're being encouraged to let go of. You might be being encouraged to start going new places, start finding a new way to structure your day, your routine. Um, what is this Ace of Pentacles, though? <laughs> Sorry, the image on this always makes me laugh. The Five of Swords, okay? We have Fear. The Knight of Wands in reverse with revolution. Some of you have a fear of conforming. The Six of Swords <coughs> with intention. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse with boundaries. A lot of you guys are going to be, you have this Ace of Pentacles, right? So there's a new path. And because it wasn't highly specific about what it could be, I feel like it's probably going to be different for all of you. But um, you have a new path and it's going to, it's really going to be, Okay, so whenever you have the Knight of Wands, this for me, he's a spiritual seeker, right? He's different than the King or Queen of Wands because he's still trying to figure out what he's being asked to do at the soul, what he really wants, what really speaks to him, what's going to be worth the effort, right? He's the warrior, so what's going to be worth fighting for? And he can get a little bit of shiny object syndrome. He has a hard time figuring it out, so he'll get really far sometimes, but then he'll be like, something else will kind of, you know, catch his eye and it's like, oh, I feel drawn to that. Does that mean I should pursue that? It feels like um, this could be something that you guys were, you were in that stage. This could have been somebody you were dealing with, possibly. I always look at the Knight of Wands as Sagittarius, but we have the Aries symbol caught my eye here. There might be somebody <clears throat> who, it feels like this Knight of Wands energy, whether this was within yourself or whether this was somebody that you attracted. Wow, yeah, my sinuses are hurting really bad over here. Um, it feels like there was a lot of really challenging energy with this person and the five of swords. This was like cutting, you know, argumentative, uh, toxic, win at all cost type of energy. Um, intuitively, you may have kind of had a sense about this person, but you guys still tried to fight it out, battle it out. You were trying to figure out, is this it, right? And it feels like with the, the ace of pentacles, and then we have the six of swords with intention, it feels like this new beginning is that you are clear on your intentions. Again, that knight of wands to like the king or queen. You know what your soul is asking you to do. You know what you're reaching for. You know what is worth fighting for for you and what's not. And I think this is what you've been reflecting on here, right? So a lot of you, this ace of pentacles is where you are starting this new life where you're defending your own desires and you're like, I know what's for me. I know what I don't want to deal with anymore. Um, and it feels like you're making changes to your life to support that. And this is where spiritual partnership and community come in. So I want to kind of clarify like the spiritual partnership community energy. <clears throat> What's at the bottom? The Ten of Swords in reverse with illusion. So I do feel like somebody, you're going to have people who I feel like change the way you think about things. We have the Hierophant. Okay, so for some of you, if you were dealing with a Knight of Wands in love, just because we do have those messages, um, you are going to be coming into alignment with somebody who's a lot more open to commitment, um, who also has a similar, like very committed to a value system. Um, in general, you might be coming into alignment with people who are a lot more like you, spiritually speaking, have similar values to you. Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Cups in reverse with pleasure. We have the Moon, okay, Cancer Pisces energy. We have Death in reverse, so Scorpio, that's the water. And we have the three of swords. Okay. So he's clarifying this like spiritual partnership and community energy. It feels like you guys have had a lot of cycles of, whoop, hang on. Oh my goodness. A lot of cycles of closing up past life cycles, like an energy here. Um, it feels like you're about to come into contact with one person in particular, though possibly many people <clears throat> who you have a very deep, spiritual bond with a very deep psychic and intuitive bond this is something that transcends death is like something i'm getting um 
This also could be somebody who is going through a similar transformation to you, and you guys really heavily bond over this with the Three of Swords, right? And this being isolation, it's like you guys find each other in a very difficult, lonely moment um, that you're both going through something similar. This person could find you when you've been in isolation, you've been heartbroken, you've been trying to heal, and you guys intuitively have a very, again, with the moon, like spiritual, psychic, and emotionally deep bond. I don't know more about this. Wow, the Ten of Wands. It feels like this person has, again, either walked through this fire or they are, yeah. The Ten of Cups in reverse. A lot of tens coming out. And the Chariot in reverse with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, I, I gotta say, um, I'm sitting with this. For some, what I'm seeing is that this can represent the energy of the person that you were dealing with. And it feels like you're going to be saying goodbye to them once and for all because you finished the cycle with the Six of Cups in reverse. You finally, you're on your last leg of your transformation. You've had enough time in isolation to, again, really contemplate and reflect and figure out what's for you and what's not. So if you've been out of contact with this person, I do feel like you are going to come back into contact with them. And what that contact will show you is that this person is still very bent on the self-destructive habits that tore you guys apart before. I do want to just put that out there. Um, <clears throat> for others, this is where, again, whatever you're leaving behind, this person that is coming into your life is also on a similar journey. Um, this person has also had to release the same things. There could be some soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. Um, again, that transcends death is something I'm getting. This is somebody who with, uh, in a past life, it did not work out. This feels like if somebody new is coming into your life, in this past life, it did not work out with them. And this is kind of like, because we have Six of Pentacles and success, feels like the reason why it didn't work out is because there was unequal give and take in some form or fashion. This is where you guys are getting a second chance to be in each other's lives in a meaningful way. And this time it will be successful. I don't actually wanna take the Six of Pentacles. Um, three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, that's what I mean is like, it, it's like in the past, in another lifetime, you guys were not on the same page. Yeah, because there were one person was too boundaried, like too rigid, and the other person wasn't boundaried enough. This is where you guys have both been working on your spiritual lessons leading up to meeting each other this time around. We have Taurus energy now showing up. Um, <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles in reverse about what you want to work toward. What is worth the effort? You both have been learning so much. And again, look at this. We have a light at the third eye, the heart space, and the hands. And we also have one around like the sacral. Um... You and this person, if this is like amorous and intimate, could experience a lot of like sexual healing and, and like energy exchange through physical through a physical relationship. Again, some of you, because we have another image of somebody pregnant, some of you, you are you are about to meet the person that you will have a child with. Um, or you may have recently met them and you're getting closer. There's something kind of like that. Um, but this person's coming in and I feel like you guys are going to build a community together. I want to cut the deck. Yep. Alchemy. This is the temperance card. What did not work for you and this person in a past life that is getting alchemized is because you guys have both been through a lot of really challenging cycles <laughs> and a page of, uh, swords wanted to get my attention. I almost said page of wands. There's a dragonfly here in case that's significant. The page of swords wanted to poke its little head out. So you guys might end up having an air sign child or a fire sign child if you do end up having children with this person. But this is where you guys are ready to come together in this life. Some of you will be moving with this person. Some of you will find yourselves, it feels like ha like all of it happening quickly. Like you'll find yourself committed and like moved in very fast or you'll find yourself like getting engaged and like stuff like that really quickly or you'll like maybe get like, you know, you or, or your partner will be surprised pregnant and like move in together quick it feels like something is going to happen fast and the, the reason why is again because you guys have really done a lot of work in past lives and you've done a lot of work in this lifetime meeting leading up to meeting this person you are coming into alignment with at least one significant spiritual bond right soul partner soul family member and i do feel like this will lead you to more whether this is family you create or this is like <clears throat> a network of friends whatever this might be this is somebody who's spiritually meant to walk with you, meant to be a part of your path. You're meant to learn from each other. So what your spiritual journey really needs right now is a willingness to let things change, a commitment to letting go of 
excuse my burp, toxic energies um, in a an emotional purge period so you can open yourself up to what is about to come in because your entire life is about to change very soon. I'm hearing July. At the time I'm recording this, that would be next month. Um, your entire life is about to just like flip upside down on a dime really quick. So get ready. Good luck. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, if you're looking to book a personal reading, you can do so through the link to my shop, which is down below. Um, you'll have to let me know how things pan out in the, the weeks and months to come. So Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope I get to read for you again real soon. Take care. Bye. <clears throat> Hi, group three. So you guys chose the hemomorphite. Immediately, I wanted to be like, woo! Like, it was a very party energy, and hemomorphite's not that vibe. Um, this is emotional stability, healing. <clears throat> a lot of you guys um have had some part of your shadow burned away like i'm seeing heavy phoenix energy um just <laughs> burn it down down to the ground um and as a result it feels like you guys are feeling a lot lighter now there's almost like a transmutative process that by like burning away that part of self that part of your shadow it's almost launching you into a new a new energy a new cycle i feel that really heavily like my eyes want to cross that's why i'm like hang on i gotta fix this um, so I feel that very heavily in your energy. <clears throat> so let's see what you get. Spiritual teacher. Okay. Uh, you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Listen. Okay, this is a very clear message already. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. <clears throat> a quiet mind and body hear us quickly and clearly listen excuse me this is our request to you listen okay i'm having a hard time i want to comment on this so that way it'll go away uh like even reading that like my eyes kept crossing and like um like flipping some of the words um so some of you guys might need to ground really heavily some of you guys it's like there's there's so much energy behind this it makes you want to like rush through which is very tempting but you're being asked to kind of like slow down a little, little bit <laughs> um let's see what else you get oh you have love okay okay okay, okay. and wow you have the jack-o-lantern with protection this is actually a little bit similar to um a little bit of energy going on in group one very different vibes overall but um you may have been if you were drawn to that go check that out <clears throat> um okay so what does your journey need at this time this is pretty clear with spiritual teacher and listen there is a skill that you need to learn there's a lesson there's a book you need to read there is you know maybe a class a seminar this doesn't even have to be like like spiritual but this is the next step on your spiritual path so if you've been thinking about reading a book if you've been like a specific book if you've been thinking about um some of you might go into a bookshop soon and a book will catch your eye get it if you can like whatever that is honor that um some of you like they said there's a class that you need to take there is a certification there's a way you want to educate yourself this is very much hierophant energy there's a way you want to educate yourself um i feel like the message here is that with listen it's really important to kind of be at least still enough or grounded enough that you can hear that intuitive nudge that's telling you to go in a certain direction because again the energy is very intense here um you're being asked to kind of like try to you know try to like be still and, and and hear the guidance and then stay as focused on that next task as possible a lot of you guys have a lot of things that are gonna be up ahead on your path possibly in the next year or two years and you're already picking up on that energy so there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of different ways to hash things out some of you guys are opening up your spiritual beliefs a little bit just because look at all the different symbols and so you're contemplating like it could be this it could be this i could do this like it, there's a lot of energy here um which is great. <laughs> um, and so you're being asked to kind of like hone in a little bit closer and like really make energetic room to follow that um, impulse. Um, a lot of you guys are also being asked, what I was getting with love is being asked to, like what your spiritual journey needs is for you to have love for the process and not try to like rush through anything. Um, I'm also getting this energy, have love for what you're being directed to do, not just for what you're excited about, right? So some of you, you have like 10 things you want to do. And of those 10 things, there are three that are exciting you, but you're being directed to things, you know, six and seven or something like that. Your guides are like, 
we have time for all this, but this is the order we're giving it to you in for a reason. So if something keeps persisting, you keep getting a message and you're like, yeah, but I didn't really want to do that. Yeah, like I was going to do this other thing first. Just be open to like considering what your guides are suggesti suggesting. It feels like either way it's going to work out, um, but it feels like they're trying to give you the best the best possible way for you. They're trying to give you a leg up. They're just asking that you listen um, and find time to be in quiet reflection. Some of you guys are clairaudient and because there's so much energy, it's almost like hard for you guys to like hear the answer. Um, clairaudient, I'm getting uh, possibly claircognizant. You might be a channeler. And because your mind is struggling to stay quiet right now, because there's a lot of activity, it's hard to hear the guidance about which of the steps in front of you to take next. Very much a Seven of Cups vibe. Um, and so you're just being asked to like try to make space to have like quiet time where you can truly listen to what your guides have to say. Um, and again, there's something about the body as well. Some of you need to cut down on caffeine for at least a little bit. Um, if you if you drink caffeine, um, caffeinated beverages. Some of you guys need to get more exercise and then after you have exercised, use that time, like the cool down time to kind of like be a little more meditative and um, contemplative. But like I said, there's a call. What your spiritual journey needs is love for the entire process, even like the boring stuff or the minutia. And some of you need to know that you're very protected. There isn't a right or wrong way to do things. Um, there's a way that might be the easiest or might be like the most opportune but you are protected no matter what through this process because <clears throat> I don't feel for many of you that there's a highly defensive energy I was looking at the stone and like some of you might kind of you know after going through again having this part of self this part of shadow kind of burned away some of you guys might um be a little bit like hesitant or like a little protective um and you're you're you know, your guides are letting you know that cycle is done, that cycle is over. But a lot of you, I don't feel like that's the energy you're in. I feel like you're feeling good. There's like, all right, this part of me is gone. I don't have to deal with this anymore. A lot of you guys are like, you're vibing very high right now. Almost too high. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you're vibing very high right now. And there's just like a need to kind of ground a little bit. So let's get some more details. I want to clarify, listen. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, babe. Um... It kind of feels like your guides are like, okay, but listen, listen. Um, it feels like your guides are kind of like, okay, yeah, but but like, listen, we're going to get there. Like, it's all right. Um, some of you guys is just like, I want to go fast. I want to go fast. I want to go. I want to do this. Um, Nine of Pentacles with community. Some of you guys, like, you're building a community. <clears throat> you want to move. And there's a sense here of like wanting to jump right in. They're like, I know, things take time. Um, yeah, okay, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, it's like you just got out of like a really crappy relationship and you're like really excited for everything that you're going to kind of do as like a single person or like, you know, I'm going to go spend time with my community, with my friends. I'm going to like do this. I'm going to do that. And they're like, we love that for you, baby. But like, it's also time to like maybe do some some kind of like healing and like seek insight about your experience. OK, here's why. Five of Pentacles with manipulation. And the two of wands with centering. We have dragonflies showing up in case that's significant. Um, <clears throat> for me, the two of wands in reverse is always like hovering in the doorway, right? You know, this is like we're toying with an idea. We're kind of figuring it out. And then reverse is sort of, you know, we got everything all worked out. We're either just waiting for something to happen and there's a delay or like we're kind of like hesitating for taking the next steps. Something I feel like... It feels like you guys have let things go with the four of wands. Again, for some of you, this could be a relationship, but you guys have let things go that really just don't serve you. The nice thing about the four of wands in reverse is that, yeah, we're breaking down something that we were really excited about that felt like home for us or we had a lot of hope for. Um, but in doing so, it's a very personal victory because that gets us closer to what we do want. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it feels like you guys have had to let this go because there was an element where it just was not serving you with manipulation um, and this five of pentacles energy. You never felt like you were good enough. You never felt like you had enough. And it feels like a really big win that you cut yourself loose from this, that you let this go, right? It feels like this was a personal victory. You have let go of a shadow aspect of self um, that was holding you back or keeping you in situations that 
really just did not serve you, right? And so there's a there's an excitement. There's like, you know, you might feel proud of yourself. You might feel excited. It's a weight off your shoulders. Like, amen. Celebrate that victory, babe. Um, but there is a sense here with the two of wands that you might be kind of like needing to, um, you know, plan out your next steps or you are planning out your next steps and you're feeling a lot more free. You have all this insight and this enlightenment. There's a sense here of like, hang on, either things are like, give it time to come together <clears throat> or take this time like you know <laughs> don't run before you can you can walk kind of a thing take this time to like really sit with everything um you know ground yourself come to understanding about what is happening before you definitively take your next steps because it feels like you've cut yourself loose from quite some tethers so now you have a lot you might have more things to consider when you're making your next decision than you thought you would you might be invited <clears throat> to join a community soon you might be invited to um interview for like a better job there's also a huge element here of like finances so this doesn't even have to be a relationship this could be <coughs> excuse me <coughs> um a job you could be leaving a career and heading towards something else some of you guys like um you know you're being encouraged to go back to school to like learn something in order to help propel your career forward so you might be getting a much better job opportunity on the horizon and there's a sense of like your guys wanting you to know like we love this energy for you we love the enthusiasm but you know don't be afraid to take things one step at a time slow and steady wins the race you will get to where you want to go um what is this spiritual teacher energy about the seven of wands in reverse with courage okay um pardon my itchy nose the devil in reverse okay capricorn by the way and the ace of pentacles this spiritual teacher energy feels and we have the magician feels very much like maybe this is about reading like you know a spiritual book this could be even about journaling this is learning more about yourself um this is a time to really look at so you've just taken back your power in a really big way this is a time to really look at um Kind of look at that dynamic within self right to analyze that examine that maybe journaling even like i think i think i just said that um would be appropriate but there's a sense here of especially with your perception and how you communicate with that magician um there is a sense as well about manifestation how you can create the desired outcome you want some of you you're getting ready to launch into what you want so you're being encouraged to learn about manifestation techniques and like information so that way you can create exactly like what you would love right <clears throat> um some of you guys are being encouraged, like I said, to look at what pattern you have just broken, like what you've just broken free from and the patterns that led you to that place. Because it feels like you're really defeating with the devil in reverse. You're really defeating this pretty toxic cycle that you've been a part of for a long time. Um, in this version, she's like, you know, pretty pregnant. And I almost like got this image of like somebody being, you know, uncomfortably pregnant for a really long time and then realizing they're never going to have the baby and just be like, oh, well, you know, like <laughs> I'm doing this for nothing. Um, the ways that you have kept yourself in a long suffering cycle because you didn't feel like you had the power to start what you wanted or start something new or have something more stable. I think a lot of you guys have been coming into awareness of that, but you're being encouraged to really deep dive into that even more um, because the more you understand it the less likely you are to repeat it the more likely you are to be able to point it out in the future and catch yourself in the future um especially when it comes to love um or business is something i'm seeing very you may have had like a wounded venus kind of energy going on and that might be something that you've been working through um what is this love energy the star in reverse there's a call here to let your spirit guides love you to love yourself at a very like spiritual level um, this is uh, has a lot of self-love energy. Yeah, the, the Page of Cups to do some inner child healing. Um, it, yeah, and the King of Wands, because I feel like you are, you're a very strong person. You have a strong energy here. Again, you're burning away that shadow. But there's also a sense to nurture the squishier parts of you that have just gone through something that it, like, it may not even register to you yet how much this is like, how deeply this impacts your inner child, but like taking time to sit with that might be important. So clarifying love, we have the star reversed. Yeah, we have the 10 of swords reversed with illusion. And we have the queen of cups reversed. Whenever I see the king or queen of one suit and the page of the same suit, that's a parent-child relationship for me. A lot of you have a mother wound here. I'm gonna be totally honest. And we even have perception that has impacted your perception of your ability to be happy. 
um, that has impacted your perception of how deserving you are of a happy ending. And that's what's kept you picking Ten of Swords energies or entertaining Ten of Swords people. Um, you've been through a lot of betrayal. And so it kind of feels like that almost doesn't phase you anymore. Um, but there is, and so you might be kind of like, cool, I got out of this. Like, this isn't for me. Like, F that. Um, you're being called at this time to show yourself a lot of love and to be able to self-empathize <coughs> and let yourself do the healing. And this comes from being able to connect with what you have just released at a very emotional level and understand why you were drawn to it and understand what your, especially what your inner child was asking you for by being in that situation. So you can like feel and release the emotions based off of like around that led you there in the first place and how you feel um, having extricated yourself from that. There's also a need to mother yourself at this time, show yourself unconditional, very nurturing love, support your dreams, support your future. What is this protection energy? Um, it's very clear, like you're very protected through this process. The 10 of cups in reverse. What do you need to know? We have the word purity. Your happiness is protected, right? Your sense of innocence, that was actually on the page of cups. Your sense of innocence is protected here. It hasn't gone away, no matter what you've been through. And so there's a need to like let that very vulnerable part of self out because it will be safe. It will be protected. You have not lost out on your ultimate happiness. It has not happened to you yet. Um, yeah, we have the world in reverse and then the eight of cups reverse. The reason why it's really important to like get in touch with, again, these more vulnerable parts of self. You're wrapping up a really big cycle. It's ten of wands at the bottom. <coughs> <laughs> you're wrapping up a really huge cycle with the world in reverse but it hasn't come to a close yet the eight of cups in reverse for me is always like when we put up boundaries right we do something we put up a boundary we have a conversation with someone we take steps to move away from something we're taking active you know active steps to improve a situation but emotionally we're still in it and I feel a lot of you guys are actually pretty emotionally depleted by whatever it is you just walked away from so there's almost this need to like ground yourself um and really nurture and support yourself at this time really be able to empathize with yourself at this time because you've kind of it feels like you've escaped the clutches of destruction right um <clears throat> and there's a need to be able to let those more vulnerable parts of you come out so you can feel and release and heal um the pent up <coughs> <coughs> excuse me pent up emotions of what you've just experienced um, again, some of you, you know, learning about manifestation for your next steps of your journey is also going to be a really beneficial thing for some of you learning about, um, shadow work or some of the dynamics of releasing karmic relationships. Very, very helpful thing. Um, and learning about the spiritual journey to love yourself. Um, very, very helpful. So I think that's everything I'm seeing for you guys for right now. Um, I hope that has been helpful. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to do so, the link to my shop is down below. Um, yeah, it has been an honor and a joy to have you here today. And I hope I get to read for you again real soon. Take care, my friends. Bye.